The change is not just happening. The change can be shaped by us. We have to prepare for a more angry world. How to prepare to take the necessary action to create a fairer world? I see the need for a great reset. So people assume we are just going back to the good old world which we had and everything will be normal again. This is, uh, let's say, fiction. It lays the predicate and the foundation for the development of a weather satellite that will permit man to determine the world's cloud layer and ultimately to control the weather and he who controls the weather will control the world. That will permit man to determine the world's cloud layer and he who controls the weather will control the world. Bursa'da, gökyüzündeki ilginç görüntü, sosyal medyada gündem oldu. Kestel, Gürsu, Yıldırım, Osman Gazi ve Nilüfer ilçelerinden görülebilen ve yaklaşık bir saat bozulmadan kalan bulut, görenlerin ilgisini çekti. Oval yapıdaki bulutun, yüzlerce fotoğrafı paylaşıldı. Birçok kişi, bulutu UFO'ya benzetti. Mercek bulut adı verilen bu çeşit bulut, coğrafi engebelerden kaynaklanan, farklı katmanlardaki rüzgar hareketlerinin bir sonucu olarak oluşuyor ve engebenin, kuytu tarafında, aşağı doğru hareketli türbülansın olduğunu gösteriyor. Uzmanlar, bunun, nadir görülen bir bulut çeşidi olduğunu belirtiyor. Fön rüzgarlarının görüldüğü her türlü coğrafi alanda, bu tür bulutların görülebileceği belirtiliyor. A massive UFO-shaped formation hovered over a city in Turkey, shifting colors from orange to pink to yellow as the sunrise cascaded across it. What is it? Onlookers spotted the surreal sight above Bursa on Thursday, January 19th, TRT World reported, sharing a video on Twitter. The double-ringed, oval-shaped formation seemed to peek at the city from behind the nearby mountainside, photos show. The hovering shape lasted for about an hour before vanishing from the sky. Anadolu Agency reported. The colorful flying saucer-like formation was a lenticular cloud, TRT World reported. Lenticular clouds are a strange, unnatural-looking cloud formation, according to the UK's Meteorological Office. These types of clouds form 
when the air is stable and winds blow across hills and mountains from the same or similar direction at different heights, officials said. Lenticular clouds look a lot like the traditional shape of flying saucers in science fiction, UK officials said, and real lenticular clouds are believed to be one of the most common explanations for UFO sightings across the world. Bursa is about 70 miles south of Istanbul, across the Sea of Marmara. Don quake hit in southern Turkey with a 7.8 magnitude and shook buildings as far away as Israel. A second quake followed with hundreds of aftershocks. A moment of pure terror. People fleeing for their lives in Malatya, Turkey. Whole buildings reduced to dust as the powerful earthquake ravaged Turkey and Syria. Rescuers now battling freezing temperatures as they sift through debris, searching for survivors and pulling out the dead.
reported for days now, destroyed city after city and have claimed and changed thousands of lives. They've changed landscapes, though, too. A ravine the width of a football pitch has opened up outside the city of Antakya, cracking asunder a landscape rich with olive groves, as John has discovered. Since the earthquake struck southern Turkey in the early hours of Monday morning last week, most of the focus, obviously, has been on the consequences for human beings. Far less attention has been on the consequences for the earth itself. But here in the farmland outside Antakya, there is a very good example of that. This is the world's newest valley. During that awful night, as they cowered in their homes, the locals knew that something cataclysmic had happened. But imagine their surprise when they first saw this chasm. We went to the bottom of it for the perspective from down there. But actually, the best way to illustrate what we're talking about here is from above. The local people said that at the time they thought it was an air raid, the sound of explosions created by cracking rock, the flashes by the sparks that flew as the Earth's crust was torn apart. It used to be a flat field. I would ride my motorbike on it, said this boy. It was all an olive grove which is now bisected by a gorge that in places is the width of a football field. The rift is so deep that a 13-storey building could fit in it. This boy said that just after first light that morning, they came out here and found this. They were terrified and started crying. We thought we had witnessed something that's out of this world. Eventually, the cities and towns will be clear of rubble. But this rupture, shaky ground permitting, will endure as a reminder of the power of the quake, the power of 7.8. In 1983, I did radio tomography with 30 watts, looking for oil in the ground. I found 26 oil wells over a nine-state area, and 100% of the time was accurate, which is 30 watts of power beaming straight into solid rock. HARP uses a billion watts beamed straight into the ionosphere for experiments. Picture these strings on the piano as layers of the earth. Each one has its own frequency. What we used to do is beam radio waves into the ground and it would vibrate any strings that were present in the ground. We might get a sound back like, and we'd say, that's natural gas. We might get a sound back like, and we'd say that's crude oil. We were able to identify each frequency. We accomplished this with just 30 watts of radio power. If you do this with a billion watts, the vibrations are so violent that the entire piano would shake. In fact, the whole house would shake. In fact, the vibrations could be so severe underground that could even cause an earthquake. I wanted to ask a question, a couple of questions here about HARP, the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. Uh, several of you at the table have a little bit of a piece here. As you know, this is located up in Alaska. It's currently funded by the Air Force Research Lab. It was formerly funded by the Office of Naval Research. One of the prime customers is DARPA, uh, which is currently running experiments at the facilities there. Then to, to uh, Dr. Walker and, and Mr. Schaefer then, it, Dr. Walker, your agency is currently running the facility. Um, uh, I've mentioned that it's our understanding through the president of UAF that that the plans are to move forward and, and demolish the facility this summer. So the question to you is, is that accurate? Can you explain why? And then uh, perhaps to both you and Mr. Schaefer, is there any benefit in exploring a potential relationship with the University uh, of Alaska to, to perhaps take over the harbor? 
Thank you, Senator. The Air Force has gotten great value out of HARP in the past. We took it over from the Navy and managed it and actually did a number of experiment campaigns up there and have finished our work that we are interested in doing up there. We've moved on to other ways of managing the ionosphere, which the HARP was really designed to do, was to inject energy into the ionosphere and be able to actually control it. But that work has been completed. Yes, sir. Another question. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times on April 21st, you said that the – you told the Associated Press that the American government has created weather tampering techniques so that the New World Order will be able to starve millions of Americans and to control the rest. Would you explain what you were trying to say? Well, what I was trying to say is exactly what I said. There is weather control techniques. We have a complete package on that, which I did not bring, but I certainly will see to it that it is brought in for the record. Number one, the entire patents on the equipment. Number two, Senator Claiborne Pell's complete statement and story of his own that not only does it exist, but that we even utilize it as far back as the Vietnam War. You might want to touch base with Senator Pell. I just want to repeat before I turn to – So, yes, but we do have all that information. You're saying the government has created weather tampering techniques so that the, quote, new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans – Worldwide. Millions of Americans – and to control the rest. Yes, sir, and that's my belief. As bizarre as that sounds, when if somebody had told me that that equipment even existed 10 years ago, I would have thought they were nuts, sir. And at this point in time, we have all the documents to prove it. And if you think that 85 tornadoes takes place in the middle of our growing area by simultaneous accident, I'm, I'm sorry. With the equipment that's already set up internationally, and as bizarre as that is, it is proven and documented. We will supply you with those documents. As bizarre as that is, I would say that weather wars, and this is uh, quoting actually Senator Claiborne Pell himself, that they are the greatest weapon ever created in the world, and that's the Senator's own statement. So, yes, I do stand on that. like something you'd see in a video game on Mario I got it, I got it, I got it. You filming it? Yeah, baby. Now that weird looking or what? Looks like a punch in a hole in that. It looks like a tornado is coming down. Of course, the expressway is so bouncy.